Hey guys, TS Real Guys Reviews. Uh, first off, I'd like to say thanks for checking out our YouTube site and uh, helping us to get as many views as we've had. Uh, we appreciate it and uh, hope to be putting out many more videos for you uh, in the future that are useful to you. This is the first video in a series of uh, some Apple related technology videos. This uh, will focus on moving a domain site or backing up your domain site um, basically for whatever you want to use it for. What happened uh, to me was that I changed my hard drive in my computer and had to figure out how to move that the websites from the old drive to the new drive um, because I had file vault enabled and I'll have another video on file vault but uh, my suggestion to you if you have file vault on your home folder uh, you need to take that off because if you ever try to restore from a backup there are a lot of issues with the file vault uh, like I said I'll do another video on that um, so right now I'm going to show you a simple way to copy your domain file and get it moved over to um, another site so first thing you want to do is open up iWeb and once you have your iWeb open do file and save and this way we make sure that your domain file is current as of the time that you do this so you'll want to go ahead and make sure file and save um, if you publish your sites it will put your information to your websites and then when you open our web again your information will be there just like the last time that you published but your domain file will not be backed up until you hit file and save so be sure and do that file save so now that we've done that we'll go ahead and close our web and open a finder window and up here at the very top uh, you'll see where it says go up in the menu bar click on go and come down here uh, the file that we're looking for is or the folder that we're looking for is called library you'll notice you cannot see library because it is a hidden folder so what you want to do is hold down your option key once you hold down the option key notice it appears between home and computer uh, if you let go it disappears hold down option it reappears so hold down the option key and push library and then you'll want to choose uh, application support and find iWeb and you'll see your domain files listed um, right there in the in the, the this folder so you'll want to do command C or edit and copy um, whatever your preference is and once you've done that uh, we'll open up another finder window and what I'm going to do is move mine to a flash drive um, name this folder this FD so I'm going to put it on a flash drive so that I can move it to my new computer to restore my websites so what I'm going to do is hit command V which will paste the file there and it will copy it um, your file depending on how large it is um, will take a while to copy I have several websites so mine's 2.99 gigs so it's going to take a while so we're going to let this thing load up and save and then we'll migrate it to the new computer okay so once you're ready to move it to the new computer uh, you open up your flash drive folder and you'll see your domain files in there um, so open up another finder window and click on go and again remember the library file is located between home and computer you just have to hold down the option key on your keyboard and it will show up see it disappears hold down option again it shows up so hold down option hit library and what you will want to do is go to application support and iWeb and you'll notice that there's already a domain file in your destination driver your new, your new hard drive new computer wherever you're putting your uh, old domain file at just drag your domain file from the flash drive over okay so you'll notice that it will copy this file once you drag it over uh, into your existing iWeb and it will name it domain2 uh, probably at some point it will ask you if you want to keep both files just hit yes and then my suggestion is after you get done uh, you can take this file which is the domain file and go ahead and move that to the trash and then what you want to do on this one is go to get info so you want to take off the two in the space so it just reads domain.sites2 and close out of that and now you'll notice this says domain similar to what your other one showed and when you reopen your iWeb on your new 
uh, destination computer all of your websites will be there so we'll open this up and there we are our website's been migrated to a new hard drive um, very simple to do uh, just takes a little bit of practice um, just copy that domain file off your uh, source drive and make sure you have a good clean copy of that and what I did first time before I tried any of this is I copied it once left that one separate then copied it onto another drive and messed around with that one so that I knew that for sure that there was no way I could lose everything because I had a good backup. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's been helpful to you and uh, we look forward to making more videos very soon on uh, some technology topics related to Apple. So uh, if you liked us please subscribe. So thanks for checking out this video. Uh, we're going to be making some more technology videos very soon. If you like us, please subscribe, and we'll see you around on Real Guys Reviews. Thanks.